Come look at that. Hey. Grabe. What up guys, it's your boy Crazy Kyle, the Filipino picker. We're here at Museo ng Kahapon. And today we're gonna talk about some rare in-demand Joey De Leon items, no? Of course, they had this recent issue with the Eat Bulaga and Tape Incorporated and everything, which we also have here at the Museo. I have some uh, rare collectibles of Eat Bulaga and Tape Incorporated, but that's not the topic for today. We're just gonna talk about the Henyo Master himself, Joey De Leon. Let's go! Akilala ko si Sir Joey De Leon as a rap artist, as I guested several times in Eat Bulaga. When I was still with Francis Magalona. Kyle, Kyle. Well, uh, madalas namin siya sa amin ni Parang Big. Uh, Sempre congratulations, best wishes and best washes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kyle. I also met him a couple of times as I joined the Pula Puti segment, and uh, yun yung anniversary naman ng death anniversary ni Francis Magalona. And of course, lately, I was also guested there as the Filipino picker na. No longer as a rapper, I was guested there sa Bawal Judgmental. Okay, so we're here at Museo ng Kahapon, no? And uh, there is this section here na laging pinagkakaguluhan ng mga tao. Eh. Uh, there's the Francis Magalona Eat Bulaga jersey. But ito yun, Neo. Eh, oh. This is where I put the holy grails ng mga palengke toys, we call it. Eh. Of course, we got the Nora Honor dal na Pinoy and then the Batibot Multiplex ha? pero eto eto talaga yung pinupuntahan ng mga tao dito let's go check it out eto yung as far as I know is ako lang ang meron no and it's here at Museo ng Kahapon is the Star Sun and Chitae Rare Palenque Toy Buff or buff means build a figure eh. so of course marami ang mga buff di ba mayroong mga uh, Fernando Pud Jr., mayroon mga Robocop, di ba? Mayroon mga wrestlers, Popeye. Pero this one, no? Maybe it was short-lived and konti lang nakapagtabi and yung size niya medyo maliit. So it was hard to complete. Not just complete, but also hard to keep. Kasi baka brittle na at naputol na at nawala na yung legs or what. And displayed a little bit lower than the bath is... The Chita E Ganda Lalaki text figure. Ayan siya. Chita E Ganda Lalaki! And the good thing is, itong number 3 na text na to, ito lang yung meron ako. And ito pa yung iconic, no? Ito pa yung iconic na linya ni Rene Riquiesta. Chita E! Chita E! Chita E! Chita E! Galing, 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 galing! Yung mga molds pa eh, no? Yun ang maganda dun eh. Yung molds. Kumbaga sa... Team Science eh, yan yung patina or kalawang. Sa plastic, it's molds. So, dun sa mga nakakaalala, yung mga yan, kakapain nyo pa yan sa pakete, no? So, yung pakete, kakapain nyo kasi meron ka na nung ulo eh. So, kailangan mo kaliwang kamay o kaliwang braso. So, kakapain mo kasi baka ang mabili mo na naman ay kanang braso. E di dalawa na yung kanang braso mo at isa at wala kang kaliwang braso. Which is, which makes this harder to complete. Okay, so I wore gloves so that we can take a closer look at it. So, ayan siya. This is Joey De Leon. Joey, the Henyo master himself. Look at that. Very nice. That's the front, no? And the back is... Let's check a look at the back. Nakabahag pa eh, di ba? Nakabahag sila nun eh. And then, ayun, no? Yung bahag niya nagla-lock somewhere there. So, at some point, isusuot mo yan. Kung ikaw ang nakabili nito. Back in the 80s. Or early 90s, I mean. Now, let's take a look at Rene Requiesta, so. Let's take a look. Ayan siya. And the same thing, nakabahag siya. And uh, I don't see the lock. Maybe it's at the back. Let me see the back. Ayun, yung lock. This may be put on backwards, no? Pero nung nabili ko, sa, nabili ko kasi to sa lolo, eh. Nabili ko to sa lolo. 
And tuwan-tuwa ako nung nabili ko to kasi kala ko hindi totoo pero nung nilabas niya na naka-gloves pa si Lolo at naka-mask. And this was before the pandemic, matagal na to sa akin. So ayun. So this might be put on backwards kasi yung lock niya nasa ano likod pero I don't wanna touch it kasi very very brittle na ito mga kap. Very very brittle na ito. Okay, so these two no are two of the most rarest no two of the rarest buffs out there no so I've received a lot of offers so alam ko na ito yung isa sa mga holy grails if not the holy grail dahil napakalaki na ng mga offer no lumalampas na ng mga 25 to 30k ang mga offer dito as of now pero still hindi ko siya pwede ibenta dahil yung pera saglit lang yun eh mawawala na yun agad pero yung 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 ikaw lang ang meron nung item na gusto ng lahat that's priceless so I'm keeping it here do museo para pag may mga collectors ng buff someday or collectors ng palengke toys or simply someone looking for nostalgia they can just go here and visit the museum and see the one of a kind one and only buffs ni Joey De Leon Henio Master and Rene Requiestas, Starsan and Chita eh. Ganda lalaki. Okay, now let's take a look at the text, no? Yung text nung araw, hindi yun yung text na meron kayo ngayon. Yung, if you wanna text your friend, no? Text dati ay T-E-K-S and ang ibig sabihin nun ay maglalaro kayo ng mga small cards like this and pipitikin nyo yan sa ere. And it's like a little game na medyo may pagkasugal ang datingan kasi you will lose your pamato and other cards ano nakasulat <laughs> mukhang mukhang ginamit sa negosyo eh, oh. tatlong water stuff like that now let's take a look let's take a closer look at this one no? ang kagandahan niya eh itong number 3 because the text cards is a series, no? So, meron yan. 1 to 100 means, and it's like a comic book, mini comic book. So, etong number 3 pa na napunta sa atin, yun ang nakalagay na Chita eh. Ganda lalaki. Yun yung iconic line ni Rene Requiestas, no? Bago siya mawala. Rest in peace, idol. So, Chita eh, ganda lalaki! Ulul, sinungali! Hindi ka ganda lalaki! Pangit! 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 And to cap off today's vlog, I want to show you guys the most valuable, in my opinion, most valuable Joey De Leon item that I have. It's timeless because it is art, and it's made by him personally, signed by him, and of course, timeless siya dahil hindi lang yan yung Joey De Leon na bata ang nandyan. Of course, pag may ginawang mga art, ba? kasama niya dyan yung kabataan ni Joey De Leon, kasama na dyan yung current Joey De Leon, and of course, yung sikat na sikat na Joey De Leon na artista, artist, painter, businessman, etc, etc. Hindi na natin papatagalin pa. Eto na siya. Very simple art, no? Pero, it's very, very valuable, mga pap. And napakaganda ng pagkakagawa. Hindi siya basta-basta pininta lang. Talagang si, si Sir Joey talaga, ang art niya talaga is malalim. Kagaya ng mga jokes niya. So, you would have to interpret everything in this painting, no? Nakita ko sa, I think, in one of the auctions, I'm not sure if it's Salcedo or Leon, uh, gallery but one of the auctions this sold for a high price uh, a similar nude uh, painting of Joey De Leon so this is the painting so as you can see there's a hand there and the left hand is over there and this is the breast okay that's, that's the breast then me counting red cloth on the left side and this one, there's a big red circle there right by the hand. No? And let's go take a look at the most important thing, the signature. No? So, ayan, no? It says here, Joey De Leon, 1991. 
So to give you a little providence of this painting, no? uh, of course, pag napapanood nyo ako kay Boss Toyo, lagi ko sinasabi, paano mo malalaman kung tunay yan? Paano mo malalaman kung tunay yung perma dyan? Paano mo malalaman kung tunay yung autograph niyan? Kailangan may provenance ang bawat item. No? So, to share with you guys the providence of this painting, I purchased this from one of Sir Joey's relatives. No? So, ito ang sister, okay? sister ng wife ni Sir Joey. Let's just not mention names. Pero, uh, I think they had a little, a, a big, big renovation of their house. So, ang daming items na binenta na nila or itatapo na yata. So, um, one of the kids sold it to me. Uh, the person who sold this to me had a lot, a lot of photos with Sir Joey uh, during Christmas time and all their gatherings and reunions. He showed me that he's with jo uh, Sir Joey and sabi niya, um, this was given to them as a gift back in the day. So maybe 1991 pa, no? So lumang luma na talaga ito. That's why it's a combination of all my passion, no? Like art, paintings, it bulaga, which I really love since a kid. Um, of course, uh, Joey De Leon and of course, lumang gamit. So, this is a lumang gamit already. It's already vintage. Hindi siya yung mga bagong gawa ni Sir Joey ngayon na very colorful. I mean, ito yata yung mga medyo, ano pa eh, dark pa ng konti, a little bit in my opinion, compared to the very colorful new one that he's making. Which I also love because I also love numbers like Sir Joey. So, so he sold this to me. Not just this, I purchased a few vintage bottles as well sa kanya, no? So, uh, ang dami nilang pinakawalan ng mga gamit. I'm sure yung iba doon gusto nila itapon. Pero yung mga valuable items na pwede pang mahalin ng ibang tao, like this one. Kasi sabi ko sa kanya, ayaw niya to ibenta eh. Pero sabi ko sa kanya, ilalagay ko sa museo ng kahapon dito. Ilalagay ko kung saan siya doon mamahalin. Kasi baka nag-renovate na sila ng house nila and gagawin na nilang modern yung bahay nila. So, may mga items talaga na hindi na mag-fit, no? Pero dito, dito sa museo ng kahapon, pasok na pasok itong art. Nude art of Sir Joey De Leon, the Henyo Master. Okay, so that's it. It's your boy Crazy Cow, the Filipino Picker. It's been a while since we had the last vlog. And uh, thank you very much for still subscribing and liking and sharing it on Facebook. Maraming maraming salamat from the bottom of my heart. Of course, you know that Tito Kyle is not a big YouTuber, but I'm doing these videos so that we can preserve ang mga ala-ala ng kahapon here at Museo ng Kahapon. More power to everyone. Stay safe. Again, it's your boy Crazy Kyle, the Filipino picker. I'm out. I'm out. Peace. Naaalala nyo pa ba yung sinagot nung Eko? Di ba? Umeko yun. Nung sinabi niyang Chita eh, ganda lalaki. Sige, ulit! Chita eh, ganda lalaki! Ulul! Sinungaling!